Ang gradient ay isang vector. Oh, vector. <laughs> yes, ito siyang vector. <laughs> Okay, hello ulit at welcome sa 8th video ng Math 23 Review Series. Yay! This time naman ang ating i-review ay Tangent Planes and Normal Lines. Ooh, normal. Before we proceed to the first item, pajulit-julit man talaga ako. Pero sige, ayun nga. So kahit sa ang bahagi ng video na to ay pwede kayo mag-pause for a while. Para, kunwari, kung bet nyong isolve muna yung problem bago ko i-discuss, pwede nyong gawin yun. Or kung may hindi man kayo nagigets, pwede kayo mag tapos hingang malalim, tapos exhale, then inhale ulit. Ayun nga, sige. So, before, at ang daming before, <laughs> ayaw magpatuloy, sige. At na talaga, before we proceed to the first item, let's just recall a good concept called Gradient. Okay. So, gradient is actually a vector. It's denoted by this symbol. So, let's have it. Gradient of f. And suppose f is a function of three variables. No? Namely, x, y, z. So, saan equal yung gradient of f? So, equal siya sa vector. Ooh, vector. Equal siya sa vector with the first coordinate is yung derivative ng f with respect to x. Second one is the derivative of f with respect to y. And lastly, since, ayun nga, um, isa siyang function of three variables, no? x, y, z. So, yung third one is yung derivative ng f with respect to z. So, take note ha, ang gradient ay isang vector. So, yun. Uh, we will be using this concept throughout the video. So, yeah. So, ito na talaga. Without further ado, we will now proceed to the first item. So, for the first item, we are asked to find an equation of the tangent plane and a vector equation of the normal line to the surface z equals x squared plus y squared at the point 1, negative 2, 5. So, in this problem, you are given a surface. Actually, an equation defining a surface and a certain point. Okay? Well, lang, take note lang. <laughs> to solve this one, we first let big F be equal to Z minus X squared minus Y squared. So, saan to galing? Well, ayun nga, diba? Given tayo ng equation kanina. Now, it's z equals x squared plus y squared. We put these terms on the left-hand side of the equation so that it will be equal to this thing here. And we denote this expression to be big F. Proceeding, we will be getting the gradient of capital F. Evaluated at the point given, no? Yung 1, negative 2, 5. Kasi, it is actually the normal vector to the surface at the given point. Okay? Sige, let's solve. So, what is the gradient of big F? We have this one, no? Kasi, ang derivative ng big F with respect to x ay negative 2x. Then, derivative ng big F with respect to y is negative 2y. And lastly, derivative ng big F with respect to z is 1. So, this implies that if we plug in 1, negative 2, 5 to the gradient, we will be getting the vector negative 2, 4, 1. Okay? Hence, the equation of the tangent plane at the point 1, negative 2, 5 is given by... Ta-da! It is given by this equation. Okay. Actually, by math 22 to, no? From math 22, if we have a vector A, B, C, 
then you have a point x not x not y not z not so it's just a form still equation i a times x minus x not plus b times y minus y not plus c times z minus z not equal to zero and observe that from here it follows the form of the given equation okay moreover the vector equation of the normal line to the surface given by z at the point one negative two five is now given by this thing in <laughs> it's a vector equation so let's call it r of t so yung first coordinate is 1 minus 2t, tapos negative 2 plus 4t, then 5 plus t. Ito naman ay nag-follow sa form na r of t was x plus a t, y plus b t, z plus c t. No? Where x, y, z is the point. No? x, y, z is the point. And ABC is the vector. For this item, yung kinonsider natin vector is yung gradient. And yung XYZ, of course, is yung 1, negative 2. Now, let's proceed to the next item. Here, we are just asked to find an equation of the tangent plane to the surface. Z equals ln of 2x plus y plus 2xy squared. At the point, of course, 1, negative 1, 2. To solve, we let f be equal to ln of 2x plus y plus 2xy squared minus z. Okay, saan nang galing yan? Observe the given equation. Okay. Then, let's get the gradient of f. So, it is equal to, ano bang derivative ng f with respect to x? It's equal to 2 over 2x plus y plus 2y squared. No? Ano naman ang derivative ng f with respect to y? It's equal to 1 over 2x plus y plus 4xy. And lastly, ano bang derivative ng f with respect to z? It's just equal to negative 1. Then, we have the point earlier, 1, negative 1, 2. Now, let's substitute that to the nakuha nating gradient of f. Well, it's just equal to 4, negative 3, negative 1. So, we have the equation of the tangent plane at the point 1, negative 1, 2 being given by 4 times the quantity x minus 1 minus 3 times the quantity y plus 1 minus z minus 2 equals 0. So, on saan ulit to nakuha? It is just, if we have vector, again, abc, point x naught, y naught, z naught, a, x minus x naught, plus b times y minus y naught plus c times z minus z naught equals zero. Okay? For the last item, we are asked to find a vector equation of the normal line to the surface x, y, z squared is equal to 4 at the point 1, 1, 2. Okay. For the solution, we will just be getting, again, the gradient of f. But what is f? This time, f is equal to x, y, z squared minus 4. No? So, sige. Paano naging ganito yung gradient ng f? Okay, let's check it out. So, derivative ng f with respect to x is y, z squared. Derivative ng f with respect to y is x, z squared. And derivative ng f with respect to z is 2y, x, z. So, this implies that if we have the point 1, 1, 2, ang gradient ay equal to 4, 4, 4. <laughs> Again, gradient is a vector, ha? Huh? Okay, it's a vector. Thus, ay na siya. We have the vector equation, R, no, R of t, equal to 4t plus 1, 4t plus 1, and 4t plus 2. Okay, till the next video!